What's up guys and gals, K1SPL here and you're tuned in to K1's K-Pop Session. Today we're here with more Dream Note and uh, at work I've been, um, this has been stumbling into my playlist before my playlist starts to get into Luna music and this track is so dope man. I love the, uh, I love the disco vibes and the, the beat to it. And uh, yeah, um, what wanted me to get into Dream Note again tonight is that they did some cover songs, cover dance cover. Ugh, I can't even speak today. <laughs> they did some dance covers, and their dance energy has gotten so much better since their last comeback. So I wanted to check out their choreography for this, uh, for their new song, their new new comeback, Wish. So we're gonna do that tonight. Let's go check it out. All right, bring this down, and let's go i have it up right here so ime entertainment's dream note with barada or wish with their dance practice let's go check this dance out <laughs> starts off shadowed and then low levels focus in the back with uh who's that Zuma? One side to the other. Broken into two groups there. And then now back together into routines. Cannon turn there with a spin. The shadowing back there with Yoi. Unjo. Unjo comes up isolated in the side there. You got your frames, and then you got your uh, four members. Ooh, nice! Nice drop into Sumin in the back there. Wow, the energy. Oh, I noticed they got like these tassels on their, their hands. Oh, the spins! Yo, spins are pretty complicated. Nice formation here, with more shadowing in the back, because there are six members now. Um, two of them unfortunately dropped from the group, so now... I mean, with eight, it was still an even number. Oh, that's when they used the tassels over there. They would still have to shadow, but now it's much easier to shadow. There's double shadow back there. Oh, okay, so that's the transition. From Sumin to Lara. Oh no, that's Miso. Window, the members in between coming, coming through. Yoi then Sumin. Man, everything's moving so fast. I can't keep up. You got this frame with the middle, middle group again. You got this segment again. The power. Nice. The boom. The spin. I love it. I love that spin. I like these formations and then the shadow, the shadowing. Learn something from fresh tofu. Like shadowing really does help when um, groups with even number members it makes the formation look tight. Nice. Again, surrounding. Got the cannon, circle cannon. You got some vocal kills for Miso here. Miso is um, is the main vocalist. You got this formation again. They they love going into this formation. Are they gonna use the tassels again? Oh yeah, they do. Oh energy! Oh day! That spin. Yo, that finisher was dope. Dang, that spin at the end. Okay, we're gonna go through it again, of course. Of course. So, starting off here in the linear shadow. So, linear is when they're all. Well, no, on the. This is file because they're in a file line. Single file line. Have you ever heard of single file line? So, file is like back to back. Or, um, yeah, back to back. 
not back to back. What am I talking about? Um, just straight, just straight. You know, linear is horizontal. Uh, file is vertical. So you got this file line splitting the spread. Then you got some levels here. Level play would zoom in in the middle. So you got uh, what is that? Miso, uh, Boni, uh, Lara, Unjo, Yoi, zoom in. He hung there for a little while. The formation here is a little bit, a little bit off, but I think it was meant to. I think it was meant to be like that because there's two different groups right here. So their triangle is a little bit more equal triangle, sort of, and this one's more steep. So um, Lara is a little bit more further front than the other members. But this windows everybody, so now you can see all the members here. Again, another window. Uh, so window is when uh, the members, like, so here's the three members, right? But window is when you can see all the members, so they're peeking all in between each other. So think of this as, like, the window frame, and then... Miso here is peeking out of the window, so the members inside, or think of a like a building, so that's window formation. And it's a little bit diagonal too, diagonals. Right here, some shadowing starts right here, and some cannon. You know me, sucker for cannons. Spinning cannon, shadowing with Yoi in the back there. Oh, it gets off. It Usually when you're shadowing, you're supposed to copy the, the member in front. It was a little up there. Right here, it was good, and then right about there. I don't know if they meant to do, if the choreographer meant to do that on purpose. Um, I would have preferred, like, uh, Yoi copied Miso, like, perfectly, and then when it was your part, uh, pop out, you know? So that was a little bit off on shadowing. Uh, I don't know if the choreographer, um, I don't know if the choreographer planned it that way or if the the uh, the members executed it that way. So, not trying to blame anybody or anything. <laughs> Just wanted to point it out. Right here, you got the formation. Oh, um, you got this low formation, I think. Yeah. So low formation, and then Unjo is uh, is focused on the right side. This is my favorite right here. So they, they did this a lot. Um, so they did uh, frames. Miso, Unjo are the frames right now. And then you got this formation in the middle with uh, Lara, Yoi, Boni, and then uh, Sumin is shadowing right now. And then, and then it transitions to Sumin right here. Boom, drop to Sumin. So now you got this cool formation right here. You got some frame image. Focus in the middle. You got frames, so frames are used to focus the members, emphasize the focus uh, for the members in the middle. So you see what's going on in the middle, and then they do something else. They drop down and then uh, let zoom in take point here. Reverse, <coughs> reverse pyramid. Um, it's either a V, reverse V with uh bony in the center there right here this is really good uh really good positioning because now you see all the members um so now they're not shadowing it's um it's a little bit scattered too like yoi is barely showing but um at least you can see everybody but it's good positioning because nobody is shadowed you can see them all and then a spin! Yo, the spin. And they were all like together too. Spins are hard. If you if you try spinning, like try this move right now. Try spinning and then landing. I I bet you the landing part is gonna be the hardest. Like don't don't break your uh, glass cabinet like uh over there. <laughs> I have glass cabinets back there. 
But yeah, spinning is uh, actually pretty complicated because you got to get the rotation speed correctly and to match for everyone's rotation speed to match perfectly like that. That's really difficult. Perfect. I really like these dance moves right here. Very... Um, how is it? Very jazzy. Jazzy moves? Groovy. Matches the music. The tassels flying everywhere. And then they use the tassels right there. These are really cool transitions. Really cool transition between Unjo Unjo Sumin Miso during this uh uh I wanna say verse two or was this a dance break? What was this? So you got the tassels. Got Unjo, reverse pyramid, and then you got all the members turn around. So you lose focus. So when you turn around, you lose focus on those members. Like you're, you want to take your, uh, in if you're in the audience, you take your eyes off of the the members that are turning around, and then focus on who's in front. As a performer too, if you're on stage, um, you, especially if you're you're not a dancer, you're like a performer, like singing. You don't want to like always turn your your side. Or turn around and be like this, singing. Like, you want to be front and center, like, singing towards, like, your crowd so that they feel you. If you're just like, oh, uh. <laughs> and then um, you're singing and just doing your thing, the audience is going to be like, man, well, this guy sucks, dude. <laughs> but um, right here, um, uh, my, <laughs> my main point was that um, you lose focus when of those members that turn around. So they do this on purpose so that you can focus on Sumin right here. And then right here, Miso pops out from the shadows. That was really cool how they all backed up. I like that move where they're like grooving and then lift that one leg up. And then they get into this linear... They follow into this linear positioning. From this like scattered, they're pretty scattered and then all they do is shift over. Bam, perfectly diagonal. And then Lara comes in with focus. Again, right here, window. Two members facing backwards. Uh, th three, I can't count. Three members facing backwards. The other three are walking in between like window or aisle. Ooh. And then the girls turned around and are still grooving. That was cool. Isolation for Superman over here. That's cool how they set that up. So, a really important concept for uh, choreography is the travel points for all the members. So, like, if you think about, like, how did these members get from here to here and this time and that time? It's crazy how, like, the choreographers will set all this up. So if you think about it, it's like everyone's here. How did they get to that point when this group was over here for Sumin to be isolated? Think about like how the, I call those uh, setups. Setup right here, bam, look at that setup, so perfect. <laughs> it's like you wouldn't have known that they were gonna do that unless they've already done it. <laughs> but it's just cool how they set that up. And again, another setup with uh, Sumin will come in. Sumin will come in to the front and center, and then all the girls uh, form that that frame. Frame. I want to say diamond in the middle. Is that a diamond? <laughs> because it is like like a diamond, right? Or like a spade. So this time, uh, so this time, Lara and Unjo take the sides bony focus again here yo in the back 
Uh, instead of on the right side, she's on the left side this time. And then the spin! Let's see how synced they were this time. <clears throat> I li oh wait, I like this part when they're like... All they do is just they drop their heads down and then come up. <laughs> it's so much emphasis to the song too. Boom. Boom. Grooving with it. I like this part right here with the hips. The hip grooving. Boom, boom, boom. And then that kick up. And then the tassels. The tassels don't play a significant part to this uh, choreography, but it's still there, so it does increase difficulty to um, the choreography because as fresh tofu would say any introduction to props to a choreography increase the difficulty like a ramp it really cool formation again here and the tassel use and then this break at the front, at the- Oh my god, that spin! That spin is so fast! You saw some people in this, like, mirror over here. That spin is crazy, me! Oh, that's a reflection of it. Oh my goodness. Hold on, that- Oh my god, that spin is so mean. So much energy at the end. Such a nice close. And then this, uh, holding hands, cross legs. This is a, this is a linear. So they started file, they started file and then they ended uh, linear right here. So that's, that's difference between file or file or I can't even do it with my hands. File and linear. <laughs> Anyways, that's it guys for this session. This session is now over. Keep up with Dream Note. Dream Note is getting better and better, man. I like them. I like them this comeback. I wish uh, Habin and Hanbyul stayed, but I do wish them um, a great journey wherever they go or whatever they plan to do. So uh, we miss Habin and Hanbyul. Especially Hanbyul. Hanbyul. I really liked Hanbyul. Not, not that I liked Hanbyul better than Habin. Habin was cool too, their, their Makne. But uh, yeah, they'll be dearly missed. But yeah, keep up with Dream Note. This session is now over. Peace on out. Catch us next session. And later. <laughs>